Good morning, YouTube. This is a British biker Matt. I'm on my Triumph Daytona 675 RC 2010, which if you have seen in my previous video, I do explain some of the features and what I like about the bike. So yeah, today um, one of my, my friends asked me what did I ride before I bought the Triumph? And I answered him a Yamaha YZF R125 and <laughs> it was such a fantastic bike I absolutely loved it and I'll tell you why as soon as I come out of this junction and try not to get myself killed um, it was my first bike and I think we all love our first bikes regardless of what we have I think we all love the first bike because it's our freedom if you if you don't drive um, and you do get a bike and it's your first bike that is your freedom and I don't drive so my bike my first bike was my freedom to get out and about and do things I want to do and go where I want to go and that was one love about it the second of all is the actual joy of riding a motorcycle it is very enjoyable it's um, a sense of freedom because not in the sense that you can go where you want to go but in the sense of your yeah. it sounds silly but you're at one with the bike so that's good and you're exposed to the elements which could be good and bad it's bad in the rainy days and lovely on a day like today which is uh, 5 past 10 in the morning it's really nice really nice so yeah um, you want to have wise at FR125 I'll put a little picture up on the screen if you're not too sure what that was. But it was such a great little bike. It was the first bike I um I ever bought. I did my CBT. Um, I had a look around. Um, I wanted a sports bike because I was I'm 26 now. I was 23 at the time. I, 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 wanted, I didn't want to ride the R125. I wanted a sports bike, so. Had a look around. Wow! I thought I saw the Triumph. I was like, I saw the, the Yamaha. Sorry, I was, I was just like, yes, please. Um, and I bought it brand new. It's about four thousand pounds when I bought it, and it's, it's still now a great bike. And uh, a friend of mine has got one, and I went back on it, and I loved it. It's really nice. It's um, very, very light, as you expect from a one two five. Um, you can get some good top speed on it, say ninety downhill. Um, it does what it has to do, which what a 125 has to do, and that is to get you, for me to be, um, on a bike which is suitable for your license, i.e. a CBT. So, fantastic little bike. If you've, if you've had one, please tell me about your experience. Um, did you change it? Did you put an aftermarket exhaust on it? Um, or did you just keep it as it is? Um, and did you drop it? Most people do drop their bikes. I came off my bike quite quite badly I came off at 30 miles an hour somersault through the air all the car drivers were giving me 10 10 10 through their windows I was like ow oh, that hurt and the bike was sliding down the road but you know you come off and you get back up and you learn from it which is good um, the 125s give that ability they're forgiving and you hopefully um, you do learn from your mistakes and they, you don't get injured too much which is nice so yeah, if you've got one, uh, do you still ride it, or did you have one, and what are you riding now? Um, my second topic for today, um, by the way, the Yamaha was amazing on fuel as well, so yeah, um, the Triumph doesn't drink it, but I can do about 150, maybe about 130 miles before I have to fill the tank up again, and it's a 17 litre tank, uh, which some might say, oh man, that sucks, but it's a lovely bike so I will pay the price if it means that I'm paying more for fuel um, second topic um, why doesn't everybody nod? I don't know if you guys have had the same problem but people just don't nod anymore uh, I nod at everybody I say everybody, I don't always nod at scooters because they're normally, normally driven by chavs um, but um, I nod at pretty much everybody and they don't all nod back and do you nod or do you have the same problem? Do you, do you nod to people and they just 
just glaze over and just keep riding or yeah have you ever nodded to someone and they give you the finger that's quite embarrassing um hi mate yeah and then he's like yeah that's yours that that's he must he must have had a bad day i must have caught him on a bad day at least i hope i did um i know everybody it's just a sign of of well what is it not that's yourself why are we not into people is it is it to say good on you mate you're on two wheels just like me uh is it to say nice bike is it to say yeah you know we we share the same interest if it is if it is the fact that we do share the same interest then why not not back you know unless of course you just didn't see us which is it can be done because obviously we're all concentrating on the road here here's one coming up let's let's not have this guy shall we what is it? I don't know what it is, but I'm not. Hey, he's a good man. That was a fantastic uh, bit of time in there. Um, yeah, so I nod. Do you nod? And um, if you're one of those bikers and you're sitting there thinking, yeah, I don't nod, why not? Tell me. I want to know. Put it in the comments. Um, just nod. You know, you're all doing the same thing you love. Just, just support each other. You know, um, I, I'd like to think that you would all pull over for a motorcyclist if they're on the side of the road. I have done it in the past. I've done it a few times. I even had one guy push his motorcycle about two miles up the road. Uh, I didn't know the guy. But he's on a bike and um, you've, got to, you've got to look out for each other because the car drivers aren't, you know. I've never seen a car driver pull over to help out, um, which is a, a big shame. But, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know, there, there seems to be a divide and it's a, quite a shame, really. Um, so yeah, nodding, nod, just nod, just, just not all the time consistently, otherwise you might get looked at, but just nod, every now and then, to the bikers, and say yeah, oh, good for you. Uh, more about this bike, this is the um, Giant Daytona 2010, it's amazing, I'm in fifth, yeah. I can throttle it up to uh, God knows what speed, and it just stonks, I like to say the word stonk, because I was stonking it earlier. What the hell is that car doing? You must have thought I was going to completely rinse him them on the bike, but never mind. Um, I'm going to swim out here, because uh, I am. Um, yeah, Triumph Daytona 675. If you've got a Triumph Daytona, please tell me why you like it. And let me ask you something. Is it because... Oh, shit. Is it because... It sounds freaking awesome. Is it because of that? Because I think it sounds amazing. If you're asking me. Go on, ask me, I dare you. Matt, what does the Triumph sound like? It sounds fucking awesome. Excuse my French. It does. It's a, it's a triple. It sounds amazing. It, it, it sounds like, actually, it sounds like it's got a turbo on it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it hasn't. I wish it did. Not that it needs it, but hey-ho. Um, it just sounds awesome. I love it. You can't get bored of that. You really can't get bored of that. So I'm going to be making a few more videos. Um, I just hope you like them. I really do. Right, take care. Stay safe. And keep watching.